Now we've stubbed out the main sewage line outside the building here, just about a foot, maybe 16 inches outside, and capped it. So we don't have to worry about this right now. We'll dig the trench. It's going to connect to the rest of the sewage line um, once we've completed the pour. We've also got a water line coming in that we've insulated as it goes underneath and into the slab. And the same thing, cap that off, and we'll deal with that once we're done with the slab itself. Now you can see in this end of the building, we have a, a very deep footer. We had a lot of fill that uh, we didn't quite trust the structural strength of the fill, so we dug down through it until we got to natural grade. Uh, this is a pre-existing fill. Now, so what we've done is we've had to use a large form board on the bottom and then continued up with another 2x6 on top to get the height that we needed to be able to fill all of this in with concrete uh, without it flowing out from underneath. So if you have an area where you can't get just one single board that's going to span the distance of your form, it is okay to, um, to put two on top of each other. You may end up with a slight line there when you, when you pull the forms off where those two boards come together. Uh, most likely that won't be a problem because it's going to be basically at grade anyway when this is all backfilled. Again, you can see we've got the insulation on the water lines as it passes through the concrete in the right of the frame here. And then the sewage lines are wrapped in a felt and taped. And again, here you can see this is a vent pipe coming out of the concrete. We have it wrapped in this felt and taped and then wired off to a block holding it in position so it doesn't move during the pour. Same thing if you want to hold something off the ground. Here's a sewage line we needed to hold up off the ground. Uh, we've got some rebar with a wire harness just sitting across to keep it in place. The toilet flange you want to have just above the grade of the concrete. Again, you'll be able to cut that out flush once the concrete has been poured and do the finished concrete at that time. So once your, all your sewage lines and water lines are in place, you can backfill around them, and then you're ready to create your grid and pour your concrete.